the reason why you use an iPhone is not because this uh, fantastic volume feature here. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, oh. Hello, friends, and welcome to Matcon Talks. This is episode 889 <laughs> of the world's most... <laughs> 800? And then we time travel? What happened? <laughs> 800. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome to Matron Talks. This is episode 189 of the world's most underestimated entrepreneurial show. And it is a documenting vlog. And my name is Matthias Grunborg, a.k.a. Matron. And here I share my scale-up journey, building my company from nothing to something or to the moon, as we say. And, of course, with me... As usual, the one and only, my dear friend and co-host, Svea Melina Lanshoff. How are you doing, Svea? I'm doing very good, Matthias. Thanks for asking. How are you? You were not prepared for that question. <laughs> I was uh, pumping there in the, be in no, the beginning. No, no, good vibe like, here. It's, it's, yeah. it's usually the Friday episodes where is the energy is a bit higher, you know. We're all getting ready for the weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, welcome yes. to Record Talks. This I was is... very ready. Yeah. I needed to do a retake because, as I actually said, it this was episode 800 or something. Yeah. That it was is. a little bit... Uh, a bit in front of How should sure. I say? Yeah. Yeah. We're not there yet, but maybe one day. But Maybe five yeah, years yes. from now, who knows? But uh, first of all, welcome if you're new here, but of course also welcome if you have been watching before. This is for entrepreneurship run smack into reality. We smack into reality three times every week on Monday, Wednesday and on Friday. And we have a framework in place and that usually is Matthias' job. Want to take the framework? Yeah, we, we have a framework for you guys and uh, hi to all the newcomers. And every Monday we talk about self-development and I share my journey growing as a human human being and a leader and then every Wednesday we talk about all the things I'm learning when I'm grinding in the entrepreneurial process and then every Friday which is today we talk about all the things uh, I have learned during the week we are talking about what, what I could have done differently and we are also celebrating the victories Yes. Thanks for the framework. Let's jump into the Friday yeah. episode. Self-inventory. I think lately you've been starting like sometimes here, sometimes there. Where are you starting this week with the self-inventory? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I think uh, something I'm doing right now is that um, I think it could really summarize uh, the week in one way and, and, and you know, what's uh, on top of my mind. And it's the... Um, a process I'm working with, and, uh, and the name of it is a a well-formed outcome process. It's a NLP uh, like a process for uh, I have learned during uh, my NLP training. Okay. And uh, it's all about you know like setting goals and uh, visualize how I want to. Uh, you know what what i want to reach and how it should look like uh, in the future okay. so and you know this is something i uh, on uh, how should i say uh, that i can see that i could have done differently and um, it is actually to uh, talk more about uh, the vision like the yeah. company vision and and i think right now uh, for a time i i have been a little bit like all over the place in the company and you know i need to double down on something and i need to you know uh, on a much bigger scale uh, work on the vision uh, side and uh, to uh, like support everyone at i go moon and uh, uh, to sell more mm -hmm. and i think um, uh, like we have been talking about that in a couple of episodes before that like right now, we are struggling on the on the sales side. Yeah. We need to close more business to to uh, fit the the you know the the growing bigger suit when you're scaling up a company, and you, you know in that transformation, uh, I, uh, I I think we we have become much more like. Um, 
you know, we, we are not selling on the vision. Uh, we are talking features. Like here you have an iPhone. You know, I mean, the reason why you are a like why the reason why you use an iPhone uh, is not because this uh, fantastic volume feature here. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, 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 such a nice feeling when I'm using it. Like you buy it because you know. Of other reasons, and Steve Jobs, and, the, the genius, the story behind it. Yes, starting in the I garage. Mean, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, it's exactly. true. Exactly. And I'm an Apple fan girl. I understand it hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, and, and you know we need to get back uh, and understand that we take, you know, we take our customers' customer to the moon. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. You know, and we, you know, we we create a legacy. Yeah. Like, you know, when we leave Earth, mm -hmm. we leave it in a better shape than we found it. You know, that's the message of Igomo. Yeah. And, you know, we need to start moving away from talking about features and think we are expensive. Yeah, getting away. I understand Mr. what you mean. Get away from like hard facts and just saying this is what we do is our price, but more actually more storytelling, more conveying the vision and show people that it's it's great to work with you guys. And then I think the, the prices or things like that is like second nature because other companies probably have similar prices, similar products, but you want to sell Aigo Moon. I, I understand what you mean, yeah. And, yeah, um, like, they're, they're, like they buy on, like no matter what, everyone, uh, Everyone is buying based on emotions. Like it's the same. It's the same thing with the, the phone. It's the same thing with our services. The same thing. It doesn't matter if B two B or B two C. And um, I think the, the one of the most dangerous questions you can ask, like in that context, you know, when you are selling, is okay. So when you are buying services like ours. What is the most important thing for you, their customer? Then they uh, will they will not tell you the most important thing. It's the emotions I get when you speak to me. They, they, then they will tell you like, yeah, the price is very important. It's yeah. also important that you have very, very serious processes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so That's true. <laughs> yeah, you know, communication is interesting. I yeah. mean, it, it's so interesting. So, uh, getting back on the uh, emotional level, yeah, yeah, selling more. So, so yeah. that's the reason. Yeah, so that's the reason why I'm, uh, you know, why, why I'm spending time working on the the well formed outcome press process. I have mm -hmm. learned in the in the, um, coaching program mm -hmm. I'm uh, uh, I'm a part of and. Um, because, you know, I, 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 I need, it's like I need to press control, alt, delete, mm -hmm. um, to remind myself, like, where, where and why did I start this company? So, yeah. so that's, that's what I'm doing right now. Sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, and I was, I actually wrote it down as well here. Like, it's such a mouthful process of well-formed output. Is that right? <laughs> it's the first time I hear about that. Uh, can you just, like, briefly say what this is about? Like, how, how that works? Because you said this is something you're you're working on right now to, ma to make that better. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, it's a huge battery of huge. There is a lot of questions you actually ask yourself, and then you write it down. So it's not any, like, I, I mean, if you use Google and type it out, I, I'm pretty sure you will find a lot of different versions of this. Okay. But the first question here is, uh, what, like, and now it's actually in Swedish, I'm trying to translate. Mm -hmm. translate. Uh, what, do, what is it that I really want? Mm -hmm. That's the first question. And then you, you need to answer that. Yeah. And you should write it as it, it, it has already happened. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. It's like kind of money and, manifesting. And you, and, and you should also, and you should should write it as it, 
has already happened. Mm -hmm. And you should also uh, think about like writing it from a perspective. Um, so let's say if I want something, you know, uh, like I want to take the company to a certain point, that's my goal, yeah. right? And then I, 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 I write something, you know, where I sit maybe um, at a restaurant, mm -hmm. but I can write it through your perspective, mm -hmm. how you see me sit, sitting there, you know, maybe celebrating that I have reached, you know, a specific goal or something. Yeah. So in that way, uh, you also uh, make it, you, you, you activate all your senses like you you start hear things you see things you sense things um so that's that's what it's all about okay next question is how is it possible that i haven't already reached this result that's the important question <laughs> yeah and the next one is uh, who has the key mm -hmm. to initiate and also reach the result. Oh, and sense. then you need to think about, uh, okay, uh, what kind of keys do I have? Like, do you, uh, maybe Svea, you have some keys I need to reach uh, the result or, you know. Yeah. So this is how you, you go through it. And um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, uh, questions. I have them here uh, in a workbook. Yeah, that sounds very interesting. And, uh, I wrote it down because I also yeah, I want to have checked it up. <laughs> yeah, so um, like uh, the Swedish mm -hmm. translation uh, f for the framework is uh, Val Format Resultat, mm -hmm. which is like if you translate it to English, uh, it's probably wrong then, I'm not really sure, but it's like well-formed result. Yeah, okay framework or something so but but i had when i uh actually i have the workbook but i have also spent some time uh, searching on on uh, on google and and i like i find different type of frameworks um yeah. under this headline so probably but but i can of course see that it's kind of the same question yeah, yeah, all so. kind of related yeah that makes sense yeah to ask so questions like yeah that. yeah so that's what I'm working on right now. So I have learned, uh, I have learned a lot about uh, myself mm -hmm. and also uh, a good reminder, uh, you know, uh, to work more on creating these vivid uh, images uh, of what I want. Yeah. And uh, so, so during this process, I can really see that how I, uh, I have, uh, lost uh you know talking about the vision and uh how uh, we need to work much more on uh you know where other people also start telling their uh, story and um yeah. you know every every tuesday and wednesday or is it tuesday yeah Tuesday, Wednesday, I think it is. We are spending one hour uh, with the sales team. We are role playing. We are, you know, listening on recorded uh, phone calls. And we are doing things to improve uh, yeah. the sales work. So what I will, based on what I have been talking about right now, here, Svea, what I will do next week is actually uh uh, add to one uh, to both of these training uh, sessions and uh, everyone will get a uh, homework to like work on their personal story yeah like like when you are talking about Igo Moon's vision because we are not doing that today at all oh yeah mm. when you are talking about Igo Moon's vision what are you telling the customer yeah. or the prospect or the suspect um, so we start working on that part yeah. um, because we need to get away from you know pitching price mm -hmm. and focusing okay this is the presentation is this the right slide to show what yeah. should I say here yeah 
Yeah. If, if what showing this slide? It feels like it has to come more yeah. from from the heart than from a paper or a slideshow. Yeah. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, more from the heart, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, but you know, yeah. it is like that. We buy based That's on it. emotions, and it is a hundred percent true. And I mean, then it has to come from the heart, and it has to be natural yeah okay but that yes. sounds like a good uh, first step i think what you're planning to do with the sales team uh, sales team because i think they are like basically the first contact with the customer right so that right from the first moment on they have a sense of the vision and that they're real people that are passionate um yeah what else we have still yeah. though we have like our positive side left do we have anything yes, to celebrate we have the this positive. <laughs> yes 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 the Celebration. What what are we selling? What are we celebrate? What are we celebrating this week? Hey, you tell and me. I think this week, in episode one hundred eighty nine, for the first time, I will actually celebrate myself as an entrepreneur. <laughs> nice what one. I've through, what I've been through during these ten years is worth, like an episode to celebrate. It is what he is. We celebrate you. We get double biceps. <laughs> I'm double bicep. It's a good reminder, uh, you know, because when I've been writing on the, uh, on this topic that we, we have been talking about, um, you know, it reminds me about where I started a company. Yeah. It was yeah. actually from zero nothing mm. it was just air yeah nothing and it's so easy to lose track of that and you know mm. find yourself in the like operational work and you know daily mundane challenges mm. and tasks so yeah we are celebrating my entrepreneurial spirit and the reamped is that a word? We am. I think ship. so. Yes, but I mean, yeah. look around you. Look what I what you've am... built out of air. Look at your office. Look at all yes. the people working for you. Look at all the customers. I mean, that is what you think about it. It is quite impressive if you turn an idea, like a, a vision, a passion, into so many things around you. So today we celebrate Matthias, and I would say. Let's wrap it up and go to the weekend. They're celebrating me. Yeah. yeah. Celebrate, <laughs> celebrate you on the weekend. Uh, Don't forget it this weekend. <laughs> and I, yeah. And also, uh, like, I think because it's important, like, it, I'm, let's also dedicate the episode for, for all the other entrepreneurs out there who, who are in the same situation, position, yeah. you know, in the trenches, grinding, yeah. doing the, the work. That's a nice no idea. one is, you know, no one is, you know, listening to them because yeah. that's the truth. Like nobody cares about that person, you know, yeah. because it's, it's like a, you in this sport, you are, um, you are alone. Yeah. Uh, and then you shouldn't make yourself alone. So don't misunderstand me when I mm -hmm. say that. Because there is a lot of resources and people that can really help you. Yeah. You know, but that initiating force comes yeah. from you. Yeah. From you. And you need to own it. That's simple and that's where the magic is. That sounds that's like the episode. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I was just it, waiting if there's one more thing, then I would it, say. <laughs> Wrap it up for the weekend. Like, and, yeah. like, I don't know what it is. Like 189. That's yeah. the episode yeah. 189. So I, I can't like, it's like I'm saying 89 and 800. Yeah. It's, it I'm so all over the place today. So yeah, I, I, I'm glad you are here and uh, keeping uh, myself on track. Yeah, uh, we just have one more thing with you. Let's just do the... The, you know the, what, what part is coming now. It's the part where you please subscribe if you like what we're doing, of course. And please also give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions for Matthias. Also, any ideas of future episodes or something else you want to say to us. Yeah. Who knows? Um, and also hit the bell so you Thank miss you, the next one. Of course. That's my job. That's why you have me. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if, if, 
you didn't help me there, we were. I would still still be talking. Uh, <laughs> Let's continue okay. next week, okay? After the weekend, have yes. a great one, everyone, and see you in the next one. Have a great one. <laughs> bye bye. bye.